Hi, welcome everyone to the walk around video here at your next car, the 2019 69 Res G20 330E. Vehicle is presented in sapphire black, features a wide seat body enhancement kit alongside some lovely options and features. How you see the car is how you'll purchase it, and if you would like to know more, you're more than welcome to use the links that are in the description box. But of course, let's get into talking about this plug-in hybrid 3 series. With our in-house enhancement kit then, we've got the brand new 20 inch alloy wheels with four brand new tyres. We also include the front splitter and matching gloss black kidney grills, side sill extensions and Y&T and performance decals. Car comes with the rear privacy glass and we have also then added the rear spoiler and in this case a rear diffuser along which looks very nice indeed. The rear diffuser, however, is upgradable to one of our quad exhaust diffusers. If you'd like to know more about one of those, if you look in about the fifth or sixth picture along in the advert, you'll see more details of that. Or of course, if you prefer, get in touch with us directly and we'll happily handle any inquiries you have on one of those or just the car in general, of course. The boot space is the only area of compromise that you'll find of the e-drive model over a petrol or diesel version slight bit of boot depth loss however it is more than made up for with the fact you have got folding rear seats and of course effectively two power units in this car with the batteries electric motor and then of course you still got that superbly powerful petrol engine up front as you can see the bodywork is in lovely clean tidy condition on this car and we'll have a quick glance inside before we start talking about some of the hybrid capabilities and again, there's no compromise inside the passenger compartment. So you've still got a very spacious, a very comfortable 3 seat Isofix rear bench in there. Finished in that lovely Oyster Venenski leather. Same story up front. Got heated front seats up there. Customizable ambient lighting. Just here on the front wing, this is how and where you will charge the car from. Simply pop that open and that reveals a easy place and nice and accessible where you charge the car from it is a case of just plugging the car in and leaving it to charge charge time takes around about three to four hours from completely flat once you have charged the battery all the way up bmw give you a claimed estimated electric range of around about 37 to 40 miles now that will vary on driving style driving conditions and of course with the fast charge infrastructure getting ever and ever bigger it's becoming easier and easier to of course get quicker charging so of course that just makes day-to-day -day use that little bit easier and quicker not that you have to solely rely on the electric range of course because this is a hybrid so there is a petrol engine up front when the electric range has been depleted Cars covered just over 71,000 miles. Comes with that lovely live cockpit with the default map view. Speaking of maps, as you can see, touchscreen nav and media setup all there. Points out some really useful points of interest, including ones like charging stations. So as you can see there, it's going to highlight those. It'll also tell you if they're free, i.e. if someone's currently using that particular one, if there's not more than one at that location as well, which is pretty useful. If we check out the car itself, in terms of servicing, it isn't due on for 12,000 miles and does come with full BMW history, as you can see there. To keep connected, it comes with regular Bluetooth, telephone and audio, as well as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You also have a wide array of multimedia inputs, including DAB, music collection, screen mirroring, USB lining, and of course, we've spoken about the Bluetooth connectivity. The whole screen here is, of course, also customizable, so you can set and customize that as you see fit. We have then got the rear facing reversing camera with front and rear parking sensors, dual auto climate control with heated front seats, and then just down here is the selectable drive modes hybrid, which we're currently in electric and sport. So that is a look around another superb example of the G20 330EM Sport. If you would like more information, please simply go ahead and just use the links that are available in the description box. But for the meantime, thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.